Hi, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to connect your email in Plesk to your iPhone. So the first thing we need to do is log in to the Plesk control panel. And once we're logged in, we're going to go to domains and we're going to go to the domain we want to set up. So that's going to be rootpaldemo.com for me. And I'm going to go to the mail account section. And if you haven't already, you'll need to create a mail account. And for, so for this email, I'm just going to use the info at rootpaldemo.com. So you can easily create an email address right here. Type in your email address, type in your password, and then click OK. You can also do a bunch of other things like mail forwarding, email aliases um, to have multiple aliases, you know, that go to the info at rupaldemo.com or your email auto replies, and you can increase the spam filter, uh, right here, the sensitivity, but we're just going to set up our email on our iPhone or Android. So it's super simple. Actually. Um, if we go back to the email addresses and we go to the I icon right here and we have the iOS mail, um, set up right here. So for iPhones and iPads, it's super simple. We just click this. We can use this link or this code right here. So all you have to do is open up your camera on your iPhone, scan that code, and then click the link that pops up. And it's going to say this website is trying to download a configuration profile. Do you want to allow this? So I'm going to switch to the iPhone view. I'm going to record my iPhone and show you how to do this. So let me switch over real quick. All right. So I have a video of me doing it on my phone. And so let's play that video. So I open up my camera app. I go scan the QR code. A little thing pops up. You click it at the top and then you click allow. The profile will download. And after it's downloaded, you're going to go to your settings app and you'll see a thing called profile downloaded, um, up top right here. And we're going to click that profile downloaded. We're going to click install at the top, right? Enter your password, click install. And then right here is where you enter your password, uh, and it will, and then click next. This will work if you're using root pals name servers. So when I say that, if you're using root pals name servers, you're pointing your domain name to root pals name servers or any hosting name servers. Uh, if you're using the, the, the hosting's name servers, it will work. You won't have an issue. You'll be able to connect and you're good to go. However, if you're using Cloudflare, um, or a CDN provider, CDN provider that, um, doesn't process mail such as Cloudflare, like I am using Cloudflare on rootpaldemo.com. This will not work. You cannot use the iOS mail, iPhone or iPad setup. We have to set it up using the manual way. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So let me head back to my phone and do it the manual setup way. So if you are using Cloudflare and uh, we're gonna have to remove it if you just tried to do it. So I want to show you how to remove that profile after installing it. Um, so if you do want to remove your mail account later, or you accidentally, you know, you're using Cloudflare and you want to remove the profile, it's very really, really easy to uninstall the profile. So all we have to do is go to general uh, settings, then general, and then go down to profile. Click on the profile. Uh, sorry, that's a little bit quick. Uh, so you're in general on the iPhone, you want to click on profile right there and click on the profile. Then you want to click remove profile, enter your password and it'll pop up, remove at the bottom and you're good to go. It should remove. And then it has un uninstalled. So now we're going to, we're going to, we're going to set up the email account, the manual way. And this way will work every single time. If you use the correct settings. All right, before I show you how to do the manual way, rootpaldemo.com is using Cloudflare and 
is using SSL and TLS for mail. So I have installed SSL, uh, I have installed Let's Encrypt, which comes with Plesk for free. So it's SSL for mail. I have installed it um, and I added the TXT record to Cloudflare. If you haven't done this, you, you don't remember installing, because Cloudflare will handle your SSL for your website and any HTTP traffic going to the browser, you know, viewing any website. However, Cloudflare will not handle the SSL for mail. So you have to install Let's Encrypt for mail through Plesk, which I have another video YouTube tutorial uh, on how to do that. So go to the root RuPal YouTube channel, check out the how to, ins, uh, how to get mail working with Cloudflare. And I'll have that tutorial on how to install SSL and uh, configure your TXT record inside Cloudflare. Uh, so your, your SSL mail works because you want mail to be secure. So you can use Let's Encrypt with Cloudflare for SSL mail. Once that's all set up and uh, good to go, you can set up the manual setup way inside of uh, your iPhone or mail client on your PC or whatever. So I just wanted to let you know before I showed you how to do that. If you're having any issues, contact RuPal support. We can log into your Cloudflare. We can check to see if your DNS is set up correctly. We can help you. Um, the best we can to make sure everything's validated before adding it to your iPhone or mail client on your PC. So I'm going to click play right here and you're going to go to settings and then you're going to go to mail. And once you're in mail, sorry, I go a little bit quick. You're going to click accounts right here and it's going to load uh, this accounts page and you're going to click add account. And then we're going to go to other. So we're going to choose other and we're going to click add mail account at the top. And right here, we're going to type in whatever you want your email name to be on your mail client on iPhone mail. So I'm just typing in RuPal info. You want to put in the email address of uh, your email for the email account. And then you want to put in the password. So I type in the password right here. So I copied and pasted it. So that's why it didn't show me typing in the password, I guess. So I copied and pasted it. And then the password fields are hidden when you're recording on iPhone. So I did enter the password and then I click next. And here is where you enter your host name. So the host name is going to be whatever's on Cloudflare pointing to uh, the IP address of the server. So if you followed my tutorial um, on how to add your domain to Cloudflare, I explained that you want to create an A record called mail.rupaldemo.com or whatever your domain is, right? And you want to point it to the IP address without Cloudflare proxy enabled. So the orange icon needs to be not orange. So it can directly point to the IP address of the server. So I'm going to type in mail.rupaldemo.com. If I'm not using uh, Cloudflare, Plesk automatically uses the host name rupaldemo.com because rupaldemo.com is already pointing to the IP address of the server. So without Cloudflare as a proxy. So that's why rootpaldemo.com will work as a host name. And that's how it installs using the profile. So I right here, the username I enter is info at rootpaldemo.com. The username just is just your email address. The password is the password. And for the outgoing mail server, it will say smtp.example, but it's just the same IP address. So we're just gonna do mail.rootpaldemo.com because it's pointing to the Plesk server IP. And for the username, we're going to type in the email address again. And you're going to type in the password, even though it says optional, you do have to type in the password for the outgoing mail server and the incoming mail server. You do not have a choice. It will, you have to type it in. So this is automatically going to use SSL because I have SSL configured. 
on my Cloudflare as a TXT record for Let's Encrypt. And this is going to take a second. Sometimes it takes, you know, up to a minute to verify, but I think it takes around 30 seconds. So I'm going to fast forward real quick because I waited for around 30 seconds. And then you're going to get all these uh, check mark icons um, saying everything's good to go. Uh, if you don't have SSL enabled um, and you forgot to install SSL, I think a pop up comes up and says, do you want to use unsecure mail traffic or something like that or try port 20 or port 25 or something? Yeah, they'll say, you know, well, do you want to try the insecure ports, which is port 25? for SMTP and one port 143, I think for IMAP. Um, but we want to use SSL because we want our mail to be secure. Then you're just going to click save. And there we go. The mail account has been added. So um, I go into, so now if I go back and we go into our mailbox and and we could see the rupeldemo.com is there. I'm going to click start uh, go right here. And there we go. So you can see at the bottom right here, it says updated just now. So it worked. We got it to work. We got our mail uh, on our iPhone. And I, I actually just sent an email address or I just sent an email to the email box just to show you it is working. Uh, so let's just wait for that to come up. And then I refreshed it and there you go. So that's how you add your email account to your iPhone. It's very simple. If you use root pals name servers, you just have to scan the QR code, install it and you're done. However, if you are using Cloudflare or a CDN provider, or if you're using your, your, wherever you bought your domain, if you're using their, um, DNS, so not Plesk DNS. And when I say Plesk DNS, this is what I'm talking about right here. So it's going to say the domain name is not resolvable because I'm using Cloudflare. So if I click DNS settings, none of these settings right here mean anything because it's using Cloudflare. And that's going to be true if you aren't using uh, RootPal's name servers. So you can create your own name servers, right? And point them to uh, the IP address of the server, which, um, if I click on the domain is this IP right here. Uh, let me change the view real quick, which is this IP right here. So you can create your own name servers, you know, ns1.rupaldemo.com or whatever, point them to the IP address. And then all of this will work. It will use your DNS settings at Plesk and then it, this setup is super easy for mail and all that stuff, right? And so is installing SSL. So let's go to our SSL and I am using, and you can have all these secured, it doesn't matter, it's not using it, but the SSL is using is the mail access IMAP, POP and SMTP right here. So I installed Let's Encrypt and I made sure that web uh, mail is secured and then it generates a TXT record that you need to add in Cloudflare. And that's how you get SSL working with Cloudflare. That's how you get your email account added to your iPhone or iPad or whatever, any iOS device um, using cloud. If your domain's pointing on Cloudflare, if your point, domain's pointing to the name servers. So that's pretty much it. We, Rupal can't really help you set up your your mail on your iPhone or your iPad. So because we can't connect to it, we can't see it. Um, but if you have any troubles setting it up, send some screenshots, send the screenshot errors to create a support ticket and we'll be able to help you. Thank you.